A condenser is a piece of laboratory glassware used to cool hot vapors or liquids. A condenser usually consists of a large glass tube containing a smaller glass tube running its entire length, within which the hot fluids pass. The ends of the inner glass tube are usually fitted with ground glass joints, which are easily fitted with other glassware. During reflux, the upper end is usually left open to the atmosphere vented through a bubbler or a drying tube to prevent the ingress of water or oxygen. The outer glass tube usually has two hose connections, and a coolant is passed through it. For maximum efficiency, and to maintain a smooth and correctly directed thermal gradient so as to minimize the risk of thermal shock to adjacent glassware, the coolant usually enters through the lower fitting, and exits through the higher fitting. Maintaining a correct thermal gradient is the critical factor. Multiple condensers may be connected in series. Normally a high flow rate is not necessary to maintain a cooling surface. Applications Condensers are often used in reflux, where the hot solvent vapors of a liquid being heated are cooled and allowed to drip back. This reduces the loss of solvent allowing the mixture to be heated for extended periods. Condensers are used in distillation to cool the hot vapors, condensing them into liquid for separate collection. For fractional distillation, an air or vigor condenser is usually used to slow the rate at which the hot vapors rise, giving a better separation between the different components in the distillate. For microscale distillation, the apparatus includes the pot, and the condenser fused into one piece, which reduces the hold-up volume and obviates the need for ground glass joints preventing contamination by grease and precluding leaks. Air-cooled, air condenser, an air condenser is the simplest sort of condenser. There is only one tube, and the heat of the fluid is conducted to the glass, which is cooled by air. The retort used by alchemists relies on an air condenser. The air condenser is often used for high temperature condensation. It can be packed with glass beads, metal pieces, or rustic rings to increase the number of effective plates. A standard Liebig condenser is often used as an air condenser, circulating air rather than a liquid coolant. A Vigray column is a modification of the air condenser. It is usually used as a fractionating column for fractional distillations. Unlike straight-walled columns, a Vigray column has a series of downward-pointing indentations on the inside wall which serve to dramatically increase the surface area without increasing the length of the condenser. Because of their added complexity, Vigray columns also tend to be considerably more expensive than traditional straight-walled designs. They are named after Henri Vigray. Types, without jacket, with removable glass jacket, with vacuum jacket, Snyder column. A Snyder column is an extremely effective air-cooled fractionating column for fractional distillations. It contains a number of segments each containing a floating glass ball valve to enhance vapor condensate mixing. Widmer column, dismountable, cone and socket street 29-32, water-cooled, Liebig condenser, the Liebig condenser is the most basic water-cooled design. The inner tube is straight, making it cheaper to manufacture. Although named after Justice Baron von Liebig, the device was already been in use before his time, although he popularized the device. It is much more efficient than a simple retort due to its use of liquid for cooling. Water can absorb much more heat than the same volume of air, and its constant circulation through the water jacket keeps the condenser's temperature constant. Therefore, a Liebig condenser can condense a much greater flow of incoming vapor than an air condenser or retort. Additionally, stainless steel wool or another heat conductive, known reactive material can be loosely placed in the inner cylinder of a Liebig condenser, substantially increasing the reflux effect, and the overall efficiency of the distillation. The cooling water should flow from top to bottom, as that also increases the efficiency and helps prevent thermal shock to the glassware. The true inventors, all of them inventing it independently, were the German chemist Christian de Wegel in 1771, the French scientist, P. J. Poissonnier in 1779, and the Finnish chemist Johann Gadolin in 1791. Liebig himself incorrectly attributed the design to the German pharmacist Johann Friedrich August Gottling who had made improvements to the Wegel design in 1794. West Condenser 
a variant of the Liebig condenser having a more slender design, with cone and socket. The fused on narrower coolant jacket may render more efficient cooling with respect to coolant consumption. Allen condenser, the Allen condenser or bulb condenser, or simply reflux condenser is named after Felix Richard Allen. The Allen condenser consists of a long glass tube with a water jacket. A series of bulbs on the tube increases the surface area upon which the vapor constituents may condense. Ideally suited for laboratory scale refluxing. Again, a Liebig condenser readily substitutes, though with lower efficiency. Davies condenser, multiple surface, cone and socket, Graham condenser. A Graham condenser has a coolant jacketed spiral coil running the length of the condenser serving as the vapor condensate path. This is not to be confused with a coil condenser. Coil condenser, a coil condenser is essentially a Graham condenser with an inverted coolant vapor configuration. It has a spiral coil running the length of the condenser through which coolant flows, and this coolant coil is jacketed by the vapor condensate path. Dimroth condenser, a Dimroth condenser, named after Otto Dimroth, is somewhat similar to the coil condenser. It has an internal double spiral through which coolant flows such that the coolant inlet and outlet are both at the top. The vapors travel through the jacket from bottom to top. Dimroth condensers are more effective than conventional coil condensers. They are often found in rotary evaporators. Types, with cone, with cone and socket, spiral condenser, with cone and socket, Friedrichs condenser. A Friedrichs condenser, also known as a spiraled finger condenser, consists of a large, spiraled internal cold finger type capillary tube disposed within a wide cylindrical housing. Coolant flows through the internal cold finger. Accordingly, vapors rising up through the housing must pass along the spiraled path. The spiral cold finger type apparatus now known as the Friedrichs condenser was invented by Fritz Walter Paul Friedrichs, who published a design for this type of condenser in 1912. Other coolants, the above water-cooled condensers can be used with other chilled liquids such as refrigerated ethanol which can be thermostatically cooled in a recycling pump unit. Using liquids other than water allows the condenser to cool below the freezing point of water. This is necessary if the fluid to be condensed boils at a temperature below zero a degree Celsius. Solid dry ice or an acetone dry ice mixture can be used in a cold finger as a coolant. As with other alternative coolants, these permit cooling below zero a degree Celsius. Gallery. See also, condenser, references.